Okay, hello, good day everyone and welcome to my extended room. So for today, I'll be discussing this topic about computing the point estimate of a population mean. This topic is actually part of our lesson about estimating parameters. So before that, let us first define some important terms regarding this topic. When you say estimate, it is a value or a range of values that, that approximate a parameter. It is based on sample statistics computed from sample data. Estimation is the process of determining parameter values. So again, we get sample from, the, from a population and that, sa that sample will be described or will be estimated. Kaya nga estimation yung tawag natin kasi hindi kasama lahat yung population. Kumuha lang tayo ng sample from a population. A point estimate is a specific numerical value of a population parameter. When you say population parameter, these are numbers that describe or that tell something about our entire population or the entire group. Basta any number that tells something about the population, ang tawag natin doon ay population parameter. For example, the size of the population. That is one example of population parameter. Let's say our population are the students of a certain university. And then one example of parameter is the average weight of all the students. So uh, the, the weight of students can be considered as parameter because it tells something about the entire population. At isa nga doon sa ating population parameter is si point estimate. Ano ba si point estimate? The sample mean is the best point estimation of the population mean. The mean of the means is equal to the population mean. Diba kapag ginuha natin yung mean ng lahat ng mga means, kadamay lahat ng population natin, we call that population mean. Now, the mean of the means of the samples is the point estimate of the population mean. Again, kapag ginuha natin lahat ng means ng sample natin, ang tawag doon ay point estimate of the population mean natin. So, example tayo for this one. So, we consider this example. So, we have here six groups of sample and each group has 10 data each. Sample 1 has 500, 498, 493, 493, 493, 497, 497, 497, 497, 497, and last is 495. So, first thing that we need to do is to get the sample mean for row number 1. Or sample number 1 natin. So, how can we obtain the sample mean for row 1? So, just simply add our data then divide it by the total number of our data, which is 10. So, adding these numbers, we can obtain 4,980 divided by 10. So, meaning the sample mean for row number 1 is equal to 498. So, 498 tayo for sample 1. Or for sample 2 hanggang sample 6, pareho lang yung process natin we can obtain these means for each groups of samples. For sample 2, kapag in kasi natin, sample 2, lahat ng data, we can obtain 4,984. And 4,984 divided by 10 is equal to 498.40. This one is the mean for sample 2. Now, the mean for sample 3 is 497.20. For sample 4, 497 .90. For sample 5, 498.40 And for sample 6, 497.10 So, hindi na lang natin pinakita yung process For sample 2 hanggang sample 6 Kasi pareho lang naman Now, how can we obtain our overall mean? So, just simply add up all these means I-add natin sila Tapos divide natin sa 6 So, we can obtain our overall mean Equal to 497.20 
83. So that overall mean is the point estimate of our example. 497.83. So this one is the point estimate of the population. So actually, meron pa tayong isang process. Other than getting the mean for each sample or for each, for each row, pwede rin namang get the mean first for column per column para walang kakalabasan nating um, point estimate done. Or get natin lahat, i-add natin lahat ng datas na to, then divide it by 60. So, para walang kakalabasan natin na point estimate. Kaya lang itong ginawa natin per row yung pagkuha natin ng mean para hindi masyadong mahaba yung ating ina-add. Hindi masyadong madami yung ating ina-add. Okay? So, another population parameter is the variance and the standard deviation of the sample. So, for in getting the variance of the samples, so, this one is our formula. So, variance is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of our mean and our point estimate divided by n minus 1. At si standard deviation naman is ay yung square root lang ng ating variance. So let's solve for the variance ng ating example kanina. So again, this is our formula. And solving for our variance will obtain this solution. So, 498 minus 497.83 squares. Saan ang galing yung 498 natin? Again, this one is yung mean ng sample 1 natin kanina. Sinubtract natin siya sa ating point estimate na 497.83 and then their difference will be squared. Same process hanggang dun sa anim nating samples. Second sample, second mean of some, uh, second mean of samples natin is 498.40 minus the point estimate natin is 497.83. Difference yung dalawa din is square natin. So, just continue the process and then divide it by 6 minus 1. So, for our numerator, if you solve for that, you can get this um, square of the difference between the two means. So, we can obtain 0 0.0289, 0. 3249, 0 0.3969, 0 0.0049, 0 0.3249, 0 0.5329. Adding this, we can obtain 1.6134 divided by 5. So therefore, our variance is equal to 0 0.3227. Now, for our standard deviation, so just simply square 0 0.3327 will get standard deviation equal to 0 0.5681. So, that is how easy yung pagkuha ng variance at saka ng standard deviation natin. So, if you have any question, you can post your question in our comment section or you can directly approach me via Facebook. So, you can try this one. So, find the point estimate of the population parameter, the variance, and the standard deviation of the given data. So, good luck and enjoy this activity. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something from this video.